Okay, hi, hello, my name is Sarah. Should I? Okay, Sarah, I'm Sarah. So we are in the booth of Coquette. Coquette is a um, stylish brand. Um, so you make the uh, silverware? Well, you our, the, yeah. Uh, is there the eyewear, uh, the, the glasses? Well, so the right. Coquette sells furniture. So we yeah. sell since sliding to, to case goods, to upholstery. And for our booth, our theme is a conceptual, uh, tropical so that's, vibe. So that's what you make? Yeah, yeah. We made this, we made the dining table. Yeah, this is Anastasia shares. What's the story, like what's the theme for the... the Alay, let, let me talk the story okay. of the mirror. Yeah, so, there. yeah, this mirror for this mirror is a bag from a human. That's why we have an end. Wow. Yeah, and you handle the... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and we also have this feminine ends. It calls muse cons, and the idea is to represent again uh, a, a modern woman, an empowerment woman, and this is our main goal: to produce and design pieces um, that represent women's essence, feminine forms, and always with an aesthetic look, kind of dramatic, as we can see. <laughs> we love to use the gold, the black. And our, well, in fact, because no, it's not about the colors, it's, it's like about the statement. And we use a lot of jewelry on the pieces, handmade pieces. And it's very good because the feminine audience, so our clients, really love these little details because, you know, women are like that. And we are very inspired by fashion, okay? Uh, we try to... I think fashion should be inspired by you guys. Yeah, <laughs> thank you so much. Well, yeah, look at these fabrics. Where are you from? We are from Portugal so and we produce there. You speak Portuguese? Sim. Can you, can you say a couple of words in Portuguese? Okay, so my name is Sara Magno. We are in the stand of Coquette. Yeah. Uh, e o nosso grande objetivo é realmente empoderar as mulheres e o nosso público feminino que compra as nossas peças e estamos aqui para recebê-los. O que é o Instagram para o the Instagram? O the, the Instagram é by Coquette, então so follow us. Oh my God. Who's the talent? What is your name? Hi, my name is Miriam Monticelli. Eu sou uma designer based em Milan e eu faço essas lighting sculptures. And it's made of a natural fabric, natural fiber called banaka. It's actually the sister of the banana tree. And this item is called the Aquarius. So if you look at it, it seems like um, the water from, from the constellation. So, and this one instead is called the anemone. It's inspired by, by sea creatures under the sea. And inside of it, you can even look at it closer. Like The, the frame is actually made of um, recycled PET bottles. So it's wow. 3D printed. Yes. 3D printer. Yes, exactly. Cool. Uh, what is the Instagram? What's the social media for the, uh, for the brand? Uh, my, my, my Instagram account is mire.monticelli. It's my name. What is your name? Jennifer Hunt. Jennifer, what's the company name? Poppy. Poppy. Can you talk about the style, the philosophy, the story behind this? Poppy is my wallpaper business. I design, you own I own this business. Oh I God, design all the papers. You design all the papers? Yes. Nice. And produce them myself. What's the story? Like, what's the message? And what's the I'm inspired by fashion and I'm inspired by I'm inspired by fashion and I'm inspired by art and everything of the moment and I design continuously all the time and the collection just grows as I put out more work. You want to do like a, a shout out for like big uh, clients uh, thank you like you know, thank you my family thank you like you know behind the brand you have support to the team um thank you to my husband, my husband who is in charge of all the production of this wallpaper That's he wonderful. is a very key component to this Talk business the today show what's significant have you got a chance to see yesterday the show who did you like the best like what's the story here 
I haven't walked around the show much. Because you have to work. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you think uh, yesterday was busy enough uh, to justify the investment to be here, or you hope that all the the clients will come today? Sure, I do feel like this is a good show always because of the quality of the. I've done the show since 2017, and um, coming back. Yes, I love the New York crowd, and I feel like everybody is here to buy. Where are you from? I'm from Kansas, Lawrence, Kansas. A lot of people just browse, steal ideas, and just implement on their own. It's really difficult to find people who actually do buy. It's like they, but they do at this show. I've been to shows on the West Coast, and I've been to a lot of shows, and this is my favorite show. I also love New York. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, what is your social media? What's the Instagram? Um, at poppy.prince. Cut. One, two, the town. What is your name? Uh, my name is Ariel Meltzer. Ariel, what's the company name? Uh, this is Meta Project, which well, is Meta, Meta Project 12. Um, this is Meta Project 12. We're part of Rochester Institute of Technology. Uh, right. This is a partnership between ModCat and RIT. Wow. But w which one is yours, Flat? This is actually mine here. Okay. What's the story behind this one? Uh, this is supposed to be a three in one. Uh, uh, cat chill play and perch area. Oh, I have a cat. Oh, yeah? Yes, I do. Uh, well, <laughs> would you like it? <laughs> no, um, so this is uh, my prototype. Essentially, it's meant for a multi-cat household. They can play on different levels and um, and the felt here is removable, washable, okay. and you can flip it. And then it's also flat packable for shipping. Um, Modcat deals with mostly e-commerce, uh, so that kind of takes into account their brand as well. What is the social media? What's the Instagram? Uh, Instagram, uh, you can follow RIT ID. Oh, for you want to buy this one? Oh, um, Modcat. It's www.modcat.com. Um, yeah. Three, two, one. Kill the talent. What is your name? Hi, my name is Cannon. Can you talk a little bit about your designs? Uh, my name is Ken Aliu and this is my wingback chair. So I want to add a, a more layer of emotional attachment to furniture, mm -hmm. except the function and aesthetic. So um, as, you, as you can see, this is a really like humanized chair. Yes, I don't and know how my wife would clean that. <laughs> but I, I hope I, she likes it. I'm sure she's gonna like it. I'm gonna love it. But I'm I just wondering like what's the, the cleaning process will take. Oh, so you need to have like a stronger like a suction I guess uh, to get all the, the fur like out of it all the time, right? Yeah, yeah. Is it's a hundred percent handmade and it has a, a metal structure inside. Basically the the decent um, sofa making process inside it has a, a spring system inside what so you can feel piece? the oh um it's a it's a cabinet with a huge body but only a small shelf you can put and where's the like the where, most how do you put inside oh uh it's a shelf it's a little shelf a, here just a little shelf a little shelf so he wants to protect the most valuable things for you yeah. What Things is your like social that. media? Like, what's, is there like my Instagram? social? Yeah, I have an Instagram. It's called Easy Chair. <laughs> what is your name? My name is Katie Didi, and company my company is Grow House Grow. I'm located in Brooklyn, New York, and we specialize in handmade wallpapers with a story and handmade cement tiles. Um, the tiles are connected to my Cuban heritage. I grew up seeing beautiful old photos in my mom's apartment in Havana, and I wanted to create something with a traditional material in an updated way. So um, the tiles are all handmade in Mexico. Our wallpapers are handmade here in New York State. And that's me. Who are the main targets of the folks that you consider as clients here? Like how many uh, times do you, maybe you come back to the show? 
if you like the show? Oh yeah, I mean, I've been doing ICFF for 10 years. 10 years? So, yeah, 10 years. My first, my first booth was a tiny little one in the back corner, and every year I've been able to upgrade a little bit. Um, I have found it one of the most important parts of my um, interaction with interior designers, having a personal connection. It's the one time of the year that I'm seeing them face to face and chatting, and it's it's. You don't get to see them ever again. Well, you know, I, I I'm running, I'm I'm working, I'm busy, you know. So it's it's really the one time of year that I'm really going out and socializing and hanging out. And then they are key because they're connecting me to clients who wouldn't otherwise know who I am or source my product for for situations that I wouldn't you know know how to seek out. So yeah, okay. it's great. Where is the social media? How uh, folks can look you up? Is there like Instagram by any chance? I am on Instagram, and my Instagram handle is Grow House Grow. G R O W H O U S E G R O W. What is your name? Hi, my name is Charvi, and we're students of SVA MFA Products of Design Program. Is that here in New York? It is here in Chelsea. Okay. Uh, and all of us are graduate students. And over here we've created... Which create one is your piece? Which one did you make? All of us made it all together. All together. It's yep. a joint project. Yeah, 15 of us worked together on this as a group. What or did you do? Did you uh, draw? Did you cut? Like, what did you do? So I was part of the research team. So we researched into what it is like to explore intimacy post the pandemic. Research, like, basically stealing ideas from other people? No, no. <laughs> What's the research? So the research was how our body has a different neurochemical response, how the hormonal levels of our body has changed over the two years of pandemic, and uh, how do we react to simple activities such as a hug. Uh, our levels. Of <laughs> we also have increased levels of cortisol, which is a stress-inducing hormone. That's because a physical affection, activities such as hug, physical touch. Particular materials that's really good to take anxiety off. Absolutely. So we have the hug machine, which is a hug stimulator. So you enter the piece. You go from inside. You go from inside. You hug. <laughs> and you go from the other side, we have a cable for that. Yeah, you can tell. My name is Katie Goldberg. Katie, can you talk a little bit about those beautiful rugs there? Thank you. Well, I'm with Warp and Weft Carpets, as you can see. We manufacture hand knotted rugs, hand tufted rugs, Axminster carpet, and flat weave carpets. And we cater to the architect and design community for our high end residential, hospitality, and corporate interiors. Um, this, well, as you can see, this is a collection by Deborah Burke and Partners, and their company plays off a lot of natural lighting, so the carpets really reflect the beauty of natural light hitting the fibers. It's wool. It's very zen, if you will, yeah. But it blends a beautiful um, architectural palette as well as a very organic palette. We can do custom anything, size, color. Thank you. Hi. Yeah, thank you. shout out to Deborah Burke and Partners and everybody in the A and D community, and thank you for supporting Warp and Weft. Warp and Weft, W A R P A N D W E F T. There. Sure, my business is Casa Kids. 
We've been doing children's furniture for 30 years now, since 1992. We started doing chairs and tables, now we specialize in bunk beds, loft beds, Murphy beds, and uh, complete uh, children's uh, rooms. Can we see a demonstration of how it works? Like I see this something really cool behind you. Yes, these are, uh, this is a Murphy bed. Can you open the bed show us? All right, I can do it if you want. Okay, no, you talk and... Ah, okay. <laughs> We have to remove the cushions uh, first. Cushions so has to go first. Yeah, and um, this is part of a new line for adults. So it's actually, a new line for adults. Yeah, it's going to be called Berman and Gill. We're uh, coming soon. Coming soon. Yes, we've been doing Murphy beds for children, and um, or, or for the parents when we do the kids' rooms. And uh, we've been doing a lot of them, so we decided, okay, let's make this into a a new business. Let's go to the other side. Let's talk a little bit Thank you, Beth. Okay, so this is the nursery. This is the, we have a, the, the dresser that you're pointing, well, this is the crib. Yes, yeah, so we can see. The merino crib that has this porthole here. I love it. You can see and the kids. Exactly, the kid can see uh, from inside. Yeah. I, I have a, two of those at home, so I know what it is oh, all right. to take care of kids. Uh, we paint it in colors to match with the wallpaper. Okay. This is what we call a curio box. Wow. Less than a minute. One minute? Less than one minute. Can you time it? Guys, oh, it's one minute. <laughs> Assembly. No tools, no hardware. Oh, shit. Don't worry, I do this all day. And the assembly time, can we put it back? We need a second person or it could be one, one person? One person, guys, look at it. One person assembly. Timing, and we've been told it can be done in one minute or less. Let's see if we make the time. You really need to know what goes where, but other than this, if you do it a few times a week, I'm sure my wife can master that. She might even make me do this. My name is Dina Young from 5 -O Design. This is my husband, Stuart, Hello. the designer of our line of furniture. We're here debuting at ICFF for the very first time. What we have is a modular system. We call it our Infinity Joinery System. It's a um, patent pending hook and slot joinery system that requires absolutely no tools or hardware for assembly. Our signature piece is called our Mod 5. It's a modular five-piece tabler desk. Um, and our designs are all about um, being adaptable and multifunctional pieces. They're great for small space living in the cities. Um, most of our pieces have a, a small footprint and can be used for multiple purposes. So you can use this to work from home during the day. Um, and if you look around in our booth, you um, can turn it into a bar cart for entertaining in the evening. We are doing both. 
Yeah. So do you want to walk and see the other pieces? Yes, let's go. Okay. So what we have over here is our joinery, while it's great for our furniture, we've also applied it to cabinetry. So here you have a piece of um, cabinetry that's great for like a small kitchen or something, for extra storage, or even to use kind of as like a breakfast or a coffee bar. Um, again, here you have um, our Mod 5, so everything, the Mod 5 is kind of our core building block, and here we've outfitted it with a solid butcher block, so again, it's great for a kitchen island for apartment living, right? You can chop right on here, you've got some storage um, below as well. Um, as we move over here, kind of this is our small scale dining table, so the footprint is about three foot by three foot. Um, that could also be used as, um, it's great for like game, game board, you know, game boards and playing um, games on that. <laughs> so we'll come over to the living room here where we have um, a bench, coffee table, matching side table. We've come to ICFF here with um, some of our newer colors. What's up? This is our very first time being here at ICFF. Do you like it so far? Was it fun yesterday? It's been a great, great experience. We are um, just north of Boston, oh. and all of our products. Oh, five hour drive. Yep. Uh, all of our products are made in Massachusetts, so we're all made here in the United States. Um, cool. Here we have kind of we've outfitted this as our bar cart. Um, the other nice thing about our products, um, from a sustainability standpoint, you know, typical RTA or ready-to-assemble furniture is really considered disposable, right? It's not really meant to put together and take apart over and over again. But our furniture, we like to say, is really furniture for life because there's none of those glue joints or fasteners that typically break on modular furniture. Can I show you this? Yes. So this is a complete... I'll hold it for you. Thank you. This is a complete system, okay? If you can't afford to buy the whole thing, you start with this bottom piece. Then you, buy more. Then you can go up and, yes. Exactly. Yes. You start with the bottom and expand as you need. Wow, that's pretty awesome. And our, our wine racks, tell them about the wine So the wine racks are um, a product of us looking to go towards zero waste. Um, so when we first started making our furniture, we were seeing that all of our drop pieces were, um, we were our byproducts, we were throwing away too much wood and then we developed um, six different size wine racks that we cut out of our byproducts now. We've also um, done that with our very, very small scraps. We've made these plant holders that um, simply just go into the hooks of of our desks, our desks and our furniture, so you can add um, green. We have been in business for 20 years as a custom cabinetry company. This has been a COVID pivot for us. So we started prototyping our furniture in December of 2020. And well, that's um, a good development from COVID. Most of the bad things came with COVID. Exactly. We really took, um, we took our time during COVID to do a lot of self-reflecting, both personally and professionally, and decided that it was time to make a change in our business. What it means for you to have that business, to be here at the show, how significant it is the show here? Like, is that a big investment for you? Like, it is a big investment, like, yes. The, 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 the friends, the, 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 the friends that we make, it's unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, obviously, like, we love to be here writing orders, but, um, you know, we're really here to be... Are you getting orders? Yesterday was... Um, yesterday was our first day, and I would say that... Today is the last break. Tomorrow is the last oh, day for the show. The yeah. We make um, very, very good... Very good connections from being here, and for us... Um, you know, the New York market with small apartments is, is a great market for us and our furniture. Uh, what's the social media? What's the Instagram? Uh, Instagram is at 5 underscore design. That's F-I-V-O. F-I-V-O underscore design. Good.